<coughs> Delisle, take one. Action. Action. Welcome to the Brothers in Arms YouTube channel once again. We are here in the Brothers in Arms. Uh, today we have a box made of wood. wood. Um, but it's not about the box, it's about what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box, I hear you ask? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> It'll be pretty obvious when I turn it over. Good. Yeah, because it's got the name on top of it, and we've already said the name. <laughs> Are we? Yes. Denial, take one. <laughs> yeah. So, we have a Denial Carbine. Carabine. Carabine. And 45 ACP. This is, just. we're just going to say this is a replica one. Yeah. Not a, an original one. Unfortunately. It would be worth millions. Gazillions. Ugandan. Uh, so let's have a look. Nice case though. Very authenticate. It is a very, very good copy. So the person has been allowed to put Delisle on it. Well, what a fantastic piece of British sort of history replicated. Yes. It's on um, a little wire thing there, so it didn't really make that noise. <laughs> so Magazines. We've got some mags in here, and we've got the rifle. Got some green felt, so it doesn't damage the rifle. Uh, and look at that. The rifle. That now, is. this is a genuine um, Enfield action. Enfield. Enfield. And it's based uh, 1964, this one. And it says number one, mark three. So, uh, rather than our normal stupidness, we are going to give you some useful facts about this yes. particular rifle. Not, well, not this particular rifle, but so the rifle. Fairly, fairly weighty. It was originally designed in 1943 in 2.2 calibre. So, um, uh, what was his name? William he wasn't, Godfrey he, wa he wasn't a private. It, no, he wasn't. He worked in the air ministry. He's an engineer, well, and he, he designed it so he could shoot rabbits quietly. Yeah, um, that's right. That's correct. And, and he, it was in two two. It was in two two. Yep. Yeah. He loved it so much. He took it to work and said, "Look what I've got." And they said, "Let's test it out." Yeah. They went up onto the roof of the new Adelphi building in London, and they shot the shit out of the Thames with it. <laughs> the reason they did that was to see if. Anybody could hear it from the street, and yeah, guess and what? Nobody could. Nobody could hear it because it was only eighty-five decibels. <gasps> what are eighty-five decibels equivalent um, to? Well, light sir? rain is forty decibels. So it's slightly louder than so light rain. Louder, yeah. So it's like heavy rain. It's it's more comparable to a food blender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A baby's crying is louder. Yep. Yeah. But but the most interesting one is. It's flushing toilet. No, the Christmas cracker is the yeah. most interesting one. So, yeah, it is just as loud it, discharging a live round as a Christmas cracker being pulled. So, when you pull that Christmas cracker Next time, at Christmas, you imagine German sentries falling over. Yes, because yeah. that's as loud as it they was. They didn't even know anything about turkey. No, nope. they never had turkey. They didn't have the chance. Did they believe in Christmas? Um, I don't know if the Germans did Christmas. No, I don't think they did. Although, I think Santa Claus is well, German, isn't he? I think he comes from Norway, doesn't he? Does he? I don't know. I don't believe him. Anyway, kids, he doesn't exist. <laughs> I can't say that. Today. I just have. I just you have. Can't say that. I have. I've said it. Kids won't watch this anyway. Their parents won't allow. Nobody's going to watch this. <laughs> so, in 1944, Sterling was given an order of these by the government to build 500. Ah, the, what we haven't told people is that they, the Mark II one was a nine mil. Didn't work brilliantly. Yeah, no, he preferred 45. So, yeah, and he went down the 45 ACP route, and that was favoured by everybody, and it was brilliant. It's because it is a good round. Yeah. 45 is always better than 9 mil. Yeah. And it's uh, all, all so better yeah. than 2-2. Two, two. So, five, 500 rounds. 500 rounds? 500 rifles. But, yeah, they only made 130. Um, and these were commonly used in World War Two by British commandos. Hurrah. And the SOE. The SOE and uh, the United States Special Forces as well, and they they even claim to have eliminated two senior German officers. Yeah, probably not eating their turkey. But they didn't um, believe in it Christmas. Was also used, which I didn't know, by the SAS in Northern Ireland, which does kind of make sense, doesn't it? When they wanted to off people quietly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it uses modified 1911 magazines, 
which you can see there's two of there, which uh, slide into the magazine housing there. Normal modif a normal Enfield bolt, but it's got a modified bolt head. Yes, because it's the 45 a shorter OCP, and it's slightly shorter. It's a shorter bolt with a same sort of bolt head. Same Another useless piece of information is that the same suppressor system is used on the MP5 SD. Yeah, they copied it. Today, they copied it because it was that good. Which is made by the Germans. That's why it goes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, it's mostly number four, uh, with the exception of this massive can on the front, which is the shroud over the barrel. Um, it's vented on the front. It has Delar oh, written on it as well somewhere, I think, doesn't it? On look, the at top there. Yeah. look at that. Uh, look the rear that sights way. are fitted to the moderator. A bit like an SMLE. And, um, it has a, an effective range of 400 yards, but it's best at two or I below. I think you'd struggle at 200 yards. That's what, that's what it there. says. It says <coughs> two. Um, yeah, so... The reason the government f favoured this, and Special Forces favoured this at the time, was because the only thing they had to silence was the well rod pistol, which after you fired it a couple of times, you have to throw in the bin. Yeah, because the moderator this, was rubbish, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it's just all made of cheese and stuff. <laughs> Springs, <laughs> bits of leather. <laughs> a bit of hessian. <laughs> it's sort of like Mel Gibson's bedroom party. Phase. You'd have been better off using a Coke bottle. <laughs> yeah, really well, yeah. Uh, so... This this one uh, could go on for hundreds of rounds before it needed cleaning, um, and it probably got quieter the more you shot it. Um, and guess what, folks? We have one! And guess what, folks? It's for sale. But guess what, folks? We're testing it next week! Oh, yes, there will be a range video uh, to see just how quiet this beast is. I've just had a warm sensation in my... Loins. Yeah, it's not every day you come across face to face with a delight. I, think I might have just come across. And we've seen a couple of dodgy looking replicas. Oh yeah, there are a couple so on on Gun Trader at the moment for ridiculous money. Yeah. Uh, they're a lot of money, and they don't look anything like it a delight. Whereas no. this, this is one to one. It's like some bloke called Fred had just made one in his shed. Godfrey. Godfrey. Godfrey got hold of it and he made it. I think this one's made by Wilson. I don't know if it's still going, but. Um, this particular one was obviously bought as a collector's piece off of a chap, um, and he's really looked after it. Yeah. He's mint. Yeah. So if you if you were going back in time, and you managed to buy yourself a Delisle, that's probably what it was going to look like. Yeah, and it would be worth a fortune. Yeah. So anyway. there we are, that's our conclusion, <clears throat> and a little sneak preview on the Delisle Carbine in 45 ACP. That's like nine mil for men. Who ya? Who ya? Au revoir. Stay safe!